Hello and welcome to another come to a battle with me, uh, Matty Boy 7 I've gone for another quick battle. Well, actually, no, I haven't. I've gone for one vs one, which are very rare in the uh, Empire Total War lobby. And I've opted to play as Great Britain. And I've for, before my army, I've gone with five, six units of line infantry, four green jackets, two regiment of horse with one experience. I've also got one group of uh, 24 foot artillery and my general. My enemy is playing as the USA and he has quite similar force. He's got a uh, 124 foot artillery like me. He's got three guards, two line infantry, general's bodyguard, only one light dragoon. And I think he has around three long riflemen somewhere. Obviously, I can't see them. But um, his guards are quite a worry. The only advantage I have is uh, I've got more line infantry than him and more cavalry. It's actually quite a close battle when it uh, gets going. But until then, I'm just going to fast forward until. Uh, where she get to the action. Also, while it's uh, it's fast forwarding, uh, if you are interested in uh, comedy videos like uh, this or similar to this, check out my channel. It's uh, just uh, obviously to the sidebar, and there's uh, quite a few uh, commentary videos similar to this, full of action and uh, commentary. So check it out. If you Oh, he, uh, he's got one, two, three, four long range, uh, long riflemen. And he seems to, uh, use as his front line. And he sent two groups of line to his, to his left and two guards to his right, leaving only one group of guards in the centre. And, uh, green jackets, uh, are now just in range. He, uh, put his long riflemen into ranks, like thinner ranks just at the last minute. And I just start to inch them forward slowly. There we go. And they will get into firing positions. I actually uh, nearly make them deploy states because I was frightened of them large goons there. But I soon realised that wasn't their plan. And they start taking fire from these uh, long riflemen because I want, don't want them to get shot by these uh, line infantry. He starts uh, squeezing on my flanks. And I respond to this by sending two line infantry to my left. I just make a l my long line longer. I also curve my right flank to meet his. And I've lost quite a lot of uh, green jackets here. It seems that the light infantry are going to play a major part. And he starts shooting my cavalry as he realises that's a key factor. I make my green jackets deploy stakes. And I also start to move my uh, line infantry. He starts moving in on my left flank. And I'm actually uh, quite proud of my left flank since it held so, m so well against guards. His line infantry help bloody well to be honest. And my uh, green jackets shoot his cavalry as they go past. And I start to move my uh, line infantry down and I uh, send my right flank horsemen further away from his howitzers. 
Are they houses? Yeah, they're houses. And this line of infantry starts taking fire. I just stop them short of the line. And just slowly inch them forward into range. Basically, I'm sending my green jackets one at a time because that group shoots that one and that one shoots that one, but then that will counter that one, getting good firing. So only one group will be low on numbers. It's kind of a distraction kind of feature. And he goes around my and uh, my men are just firing away there. And I curve this group around. But my green jackets are on the case. I just send my cavalry nearby, close close at hand, and I just send my artillery to my left. Artillery is not going to be uh, win this battle since there's not huge numbers in that in it. So, and I send my cavalry in against these uh, guards while my infantry get into position. Here we go, and he just squares last minute, which is brilliant, and he takes quite a lot of losses on that. I deliberately went into the. Uh, I took quite a lot of losses on that for some reason, which I wasn't happy about. Shitty cavalry. But anyway, my uh, line infantry is really close, and then. Bam, here we go. Just looking at them drop. Yeah. It's beautiful. And starts going uh, into melee. My green jackets are winning on the main line. I'm still moving my cavalry away because they're still taking fire from the artillery. And he starts to move his line infantry forward. His guards, his centre's quite uh, weak. The only thing that's stopping me from attacking is the fact that um, if I go drive down the centre I risk losing my left flank which is with the guards plus I'm winning anyway so why do I why would I push harder and uh, risk losing that opportunity or and uh, his cavalry are slightly further away from that so I send my lines in and quickly square as I see them charge. And I send my cavalry in to counter it as well. And he quickly sees that and he's realised he's made a big mistake. He loses about 10 on the way in. And they get shot on the way back out by this line infantry here. Which is excellent. Centre is still mine. I send uh, one group of uh, line infantry to enforce my left. But it seems like it's going well, except from this group here, which is having a firefight with them. The melee's going extremely well for my men. And thank God the guards are out, and that gives uh, that gives uh, this group here support. The one that's just about to run. My green jacket is still winning. Quite nicely. And he sends his last reserve of guards to his right. So now we literally have no line infantry in our centres. And he brings up his uh, line infantry on his left. And I'm just waiting for them to come by. He's got a lot more men in his line infantry for some reason. Mainly because the uh, long riflemen have been picking at him. So he's got an advantage in that sector. In that sector. And he sends his uh, other guard unit into melee. And they get shot down as they come in. Excellent. And they're wavering straight away. Also, my artillery has positioned itself on the left. And I'm going to try and get some shrapnel and cancer shot into his last guard group, which is vital to his his victory. 
Yeah, there we go. Some nice losses for him. And I should send my last line infantry to uh, counteract his last guard infantry. Still having a nice little stirring contest on the right hand side. My cavalry on the flank. And decides to uh, come further away from my green jackets. And they can start firing any minute now. There we go. Yeah, lovely. And he sends his uh, cavalry in simultaneously. I don't really care about his large goons, they're crap, so. If I go into square, I take losses, more losses by uh, fire than anything else. And uh, while my uh, line infantry hold off these guards, I send in my reserve to melee with them, while the other group holds them at point with their rifles. This group's taking a lot of beating, beating from my green jackets and uh, artillery, so it's not much of a threat to my line infantry, which have superior numbers, which is quite handy. His uh, cavalry didn't make any difference at all, really. Didn't lose very m many men at all. But still, my line infantry are winning, even though they're outnumbered. Superior British training, huh? And his guards are running for their lives. And I make my line infantry into one nice big line. Three groups of line infantry against one guard, and I start moving them in straight away. Well, a bit of delay, but oh well. There we go. I just said, "Oh, you missed the cavalry charge." Shit. But this makes uh, quite a nice. Uh, effect on the uh, Americans, but they don't really last long, there's only, there's only about 30 of them. So, not much difference, but these guys weren't even firing while they were charging, so as soon as they pull out, open fire, and then the losses start coming back. Line infantry is coming over on the left, and favour is in my well that was in my favour shall I say and his uh, line infantry start to start panicking Drink, uh, send my green jackets in along with my lines and another stirring contest between my lines and the guards and this is where he leaves yeah he's a uh, kind of a sore loser but anyway I deployed 1092 killing 530 and I also killed 513. He deployed 942, and his name was Makako. We have an odd name, but oh well. And he lost 535 and killed 488. So, it just showing in Barter War that, that your quality of troops doesn't always count. Because, as I just proved there, five normal line infantry against three guards and two line infantry and my line infantry one and also his line infantry had one experience and mine had to earn theirs before they did anything so this is it for this uh, commentary battle and I'll see you next time